Hey guys, I'm always asked, how do I find the knives from the videos? Well, all you gotta do is hit this little arrow underneath the video and the description will pop up with all the links to the video, at least as many as I can provide. So all you gotta do is hit the little arrow under the video and the links will pop up in the description. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you like the content and subscribe if you're not. Hit the no notification bell and set it on all if you want to see more content. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and we have five fast knife reviews. So here is the first one and this is a Best Tech knife in multicolored G10 and a spear point flat ground blade in 14C28M blade steel. I really love that steel and it is very comfortable in the hand. We do have a deep carry clip that is not reversible at all, but you know, it does work pretty good in and out of the pocket and you have very comfortable ergos, great access to the lock bar so when you disengage it it is very smooth on the drop ceramic caged bearings in the pivot and a ceramic detent very very smooth on the drop and the action is also really good the flipper tab has nice jimping the the detent and the brake is really crisp very nice now the spear point blade now you're not going to get the best geometry out of a blade like this because the thickest point is the center and then it has to drop from that point to this point to the edge so you can see how big the edge bevel is i put on it with this polished edge and it's that big because it is a little thick behind the edge so it's not going to be the best slicer however for self-defense or for light duty edc tasks where you're just opening things up it's going to work just fine it's just not going to be a heavy user or anything like that you know it's kind of one of those self-defense slash edc knives which you know it, it does work in a pinch as you know a regular knife it'll still cut just fine it's just not going to be really good going through dense objects or dense materials i should say let's get to the next one Hey guys, I'm sorry for stopping the video, but this is very important. Zach's stuff is almost to 10K. We got to get him over 10K. Please go follow his channel. I'm going to link it at the top of the description. I know it'll mean so much to him. Please go over there. He's one of the best dudes in this community. Please go give him a follow. It's really easy. Hit the button, go into the description, hit the link, get over there, give him a follow. Thank you guys. The next one is the Concept Excipiter. Now, this is an S35VN blade steel. Beautiful stone washing on this Concept Excipiter. That is the name right there. Titanium frame lock. And this one has the green micarta. Now, it comes in multiple different versions. You could carbon fiber, Timascus, and there's big and small. So this is the large one. They have a small one. But it's just refined in so many ways that it feels like an expensive knife. And it is a bit of a price jump from the first knife we showed. Crown spine, um, the, the lock bar access and just the strength and the way it feels is very, very nice to the hand, very nice to the to the thumb. It's very comfortable to unlock. The detent is very, very well done. I mean, it just has a nice break to it. We have jimping all the way up the top of the flipper tab. Really good break, and it is very smooth on the drop. Very false shutty. Titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer with a nice little hidden lanyard back there or lanyard pen back there so you can have a lanyard. It does have all the bells and whistles, ceramic caged bearings, um, steel lock bar insert. It is very, very solid and it's just an incredible knife. Um, and like I said, they have multiple different versions. So if you don't like large knives, they do have a smaller version available. And the micarta is nicely fit inside here, um, seamless, I guess you could say. You can see how tight it is in there. I mean, there's like, there's no seam at all. And um, they yeah, had this beautiful stone washing. It did take an incredibly sharp edge. Beautiful drop point blade. Love that blade shape. Nice and centered. Just an amazing knife. I do have a full review on this knife. 
Next, another concept. This is the concept convict. You can see that beautiful stone washing the concept does. Now, this one is very impressive to me. I, I man, it just, I really like this knife. Um, it does have the thumb disc, which I'm not a huge fan of thumb discs, but it works very well. You can't flip it because it does have a little uh, counter sunk um, hole right there for it to drop down into. But man, oops, that was my fault. But man, this detent and the action is really well tuned. And you can reverse flick it. And it's incredibly easy to reverse flick. It's so easy, I can even do it up top by the screw hole without an issue. It's very, very easy. Um, now, the Ergos, oh man, they in my hand personally, they melt in my hand. It feels so good. And I, I feel like the blade to handle ratio, I feel like it has a lot of blade for this handle. So you have a lot of cutting edge. Yeah, I can get a full grip on this knife, which is incredibly comfortable but you see how much cutting edge I have the cutting edge starts from my hand all the way up to the tip and it just seems like the blade is bigger than the handle now the lock bar access is very very comfortable very easy to disengage and it is very smooth on the drop titanium pocket clip multiple little standoffs and it does have ceramic bearings uh, steel lock bar insert all the little goodies and it is an s35 vn blade steel this is a little workhorse you can get a lot of pressure down on that tip great for push cuts i mean you can switch grips very easily to like go around packages to open things up and then when you do do when you do push cuts you have a lot of leverage through your cut and the geometry is really nice since this is a tall flat grind and i never have an issue getting past this i've heard other people saying that you know um stuff can run into that you just when you're cutting you just hold it at an angle everything goes right past it i have yet to have had an issue with that so and i've used it quite a bit and it is a sheepdog design by the way i forgot to say that sheepdog knives sheepdog convict let's get to the next one now we've got the Kubi Vagrant in titanium. And the last one is going to be a liner lock version of the same knife. So we have the titanium frame lock model, which this one's going to be a little bit more expensive because it is all titanium and it is very well done. We have a titanium backspacer, titanium milled pocket clip. And this one is an OS 10, but I think all the versions now in titanium are S30V. Uh, I'm not sure if you can still find any OS 10 ones, but the G10 model is an OS 10. Great access to the lock bar. It is very, very smooth on the drop. The reverse flicking action is really nice. I do wish they wouldn't have chamfered the edge of the hole so much, but it, it, it's still really good. And for a small knife, because this is only a three inch blade, the ergos are really, really nice. Very, very nice in the hand. Just an incredible, incredible little knife. Now, lefty, you're not going to be able to flick it. The detent's just too strong and you lock yourself out. However, moving over to the G10 version, it is very easy to use left-handed because it's a liner lock and it has a reversible pocket clip. T10 pivot, T8 hardware, which is awesome and it does have a strong detent this one still needs to break in but it still has really good action it's just this the hole is chamfered so you do want to make sure you get in there with the meat of your finger more than your nail beautiful blade shape um very good cutter as well deep carry pocket clip i know i mentioned that it is reversible liner lock is easy to access and it is very smooth on the drop now these come in multiple different colors, so you got you got lots of options here. Stone washed blade, and it does have a couple standoffs, lots of milling to bring down the weight. The G10 is very grippy. Um, their hardware is really good hardware too. I should have mentioned that. Very good hardware. T8s, and I said T10 pivot, but I think this one's a T10 pivot. All the other ones are. This one might be a T8 pivot, but it's T8 hardware all the way around at the very least. I know the other couple models I got from Kubi were T10 pivots, but 
Very solid lockup. Nice and strong, very durable on both knives. Um, yeah, just both of these models are really nice models. I do really like them. And it's a, it's a, it feels expensive, this little knife. Um, it is very, very well done. And you can take advantage of this little spot right there to get up nice and close to the blade. I did put a mirror polish on this one. And yeah, it cuts pretty good because of the leverage you really get into the cuts. Because you do get a nice good grip on it. And it's it's pretty comfortable. You do have some jimping on the spine. But yeah, the blade shape is just really good for EDC. And you can find um you can find both of these. Um all the models I've shown so far you can get. So I will link as much as I can down in the description. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.